Right, what we're looking at today is a, uh, a quick look at financial mathematics, specifically focusing on simple interest. All right, so what is simple interest? Well, if we take a look at simple interest here, we will see that the interest is only on the original amount, the capital that you've invested, and you don't have any change in the interest amount that is earned. So taking a look at an example, if I were to take 2,000 Rand and invest it at 10% per annum, that's per year, for a specific amount of time, so for one year, for two years, and for three years, what would the effects upon them be? And so we're going to look at how you could set out these calculations in the most logical fashion. So let's take a look at the first one. So if we're investing for one year, I take my 2,000 Rand and I multiply it by my 10%, that would give me 200 Rand of interest for that year. Okay. Then I just simply take my original amount, my capital, 2,000 Rand, add the 200 Rand to it because it's only one year that we're adding it, and I get 2,200. If we're looking at two years, I can then take my 2,000 Rand, multiply it by 10%, multiply it by 2 because I'm finding the interest for two years here not just one. All right, that gives me my 400 Rand. I add my capital amount, my original amount, 2,000 Rand plus the 400 to get 2,400. So after two years, I will have 2,400. If we take a look at the three years, I do a very similar thing, 2,000 times 10% times three for the three years of interest. Remember, it's the same amount of interest on the original amount, okay? That gives me 600, and so we get 2,600. Okay, simple, simple interest is really very straightforward to do, and really is, as the name implies, very simple. So, that was simple interest. Remember that you can get simple interest for a longer period of time, and there are some other ways of doing this, but that example is probably the most simple method that we have. Okay, so as usual, thank you very much and stay safe.